Hi and I welcome you to this lecture. Webex is not just an audio and video conferencing software. It could be a tool which can let you collaborate effectively with your meeting attendees. In this lecture, I am going to talk about such feature in Webex. To start with, let's talk about screen sharing in Webex. To share your screen with meeting attendees, first you have to be a presenter and your host can give you that permission. Your host should right click on your name in participant list and then he should change your role to presenter. Here the account A is the host and account B is a participant. Now the host is granting permission role to account B. Account B is getting a prompt that he has been granted with presenter role. Notice that screen share icon has been enabled for the new presenter and it is disabled for the host. Now the presenter can share his screen for presentation. Just by clicking on the screen share icon, his whole screen can be shared now. In case if the presenter want to share a particular application, for example if he want to share his browser alone, then the presenter should click on more options. Here I can see a list of applications that can be shared. Currently I am just selecting the Mozilla browser for sharing. Look at this now. You can see that my account B is sharing the Mozilla browser alone. If you hover your cursor on top of the screen, you will get a panel sliding down. Here in this panel, you can get access to options that are required while sharing your window. Notice that once you start screen sharing, your meeting window disappears. To control your meeting, now you have only the options that are present in this sliding panel. The first option you see here is stop sharing. Of course, it is for stopping your screen share. The second icon is for pausing your screen share. This will freeze your screen view until you resume back. The third icon is for changing your screen share. For example, if you want to share PowerPoint presentation instead of a browser, then you can do it here. The next icon is for shifting the control to some other participant. Here you can make some other participant as presenter or you can provide keyboard and mouse control to some other participant. Next icon is for controlling your audio settings. And the next icon is for muting and unmuting. The participants icon is for showing participant list panel. Click this icon again to get rid of the panel. The chat icon will bring forward the chat window. Notice that only you will be seeing these windows. Other participants will be seeing just the window you are sharing. In my case, I am sharing Mozilla Firefox browser and the participants will be seeing only the Mozilla Firefox browser. The last icon will provide you with the pen tool to highlight something in your screen share. By clicking on this annotate icon again, the pen tool will go away. This is the window where you see the video of person who is speaking in the meeting. If you don't want to see this video, just click on the inverted triangle to collapse the window. Apart from sharing your screen or application, you can also open and share some files that are supported by Webex. For example, if I want to open and play a Webex recording of my previous meeting, that can be done by clicking on more option, share file from my computer and then browse and select the Webex recording file. Webex will open and play the Webex recording to all meeting audience. This will be very useful in some cases because you don't have to keep on repeating your presentation or demo in multiple meetings. You can record one of your presentation and can play it in other meeting wherever it is required. Apart from Webex recordings, you can also open and share a video or audio file or a Microsoft Office file to your audience.